Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you. This is for the week of October 16th through October 22nd. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. So, I'm going to zoom this in. The basis of your reading is the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. Those are really good bases of your reading. Okay, I'm just going to leave it just like that. All right. The Ace of Cups says that you're feeling very loving this week. There's a You're feeling very emotionally set. You're probably offering a lot of love to others. You're soaking it up. It's very loving, okay? That's the basis of your week. Um, it's a very blissful time. And I think that you're being, um, you're feeling very at ease, honored, respected. You know, maybe this has to do with self-respect. Maybe you're loving yourself and others. I just feel like this week is really very successful for you. All right. This is successful and this is love. Okay. And those are the basis uh, basis of your reading. Okay, um, I think it feels like a time to celebrate. Um, I think that you're starting a new phase of your life. Things are changing finally. Perhaps something has ended. We have the death and we have the Ten of Swords. Something has ended that you were waiting to end or, um, you know, or it's going to in the very near future. It could happen this week. All right, where something ends and it starts that new phase. It starts that new chapter. It's where you've been on thin ice for a while, but you can no longer ignore it. Things are fine. There's no more pretending. It's time to end it. It's time to move on. It's time to start the new chapter. And it really starts from loving yourself. Okay, it's all in the name of love. It's all in the name of love, all right? I see that um, it's a time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate your success. You've You've... You're about to start something new. Um, maybe there's a period of healing on the horizon. Maybe it's even happening this week where you're feeling very satisfied with your decisions and what you've accomplished. I think that you had some worry and you've had to um, be persistent, okay? There's been some worry. There's been some persistence. There's been a lot of life experiences that you have learned from. And I think the battle that you have been going through is just about over because we have the tower card. The tower card is comes out when something is going to crumble down. Something is going to crumble. So it looks like either this has happened or it may happen this week. It could happen next week or in the next two weeks or whatever because this timing is fluid. Okay, whenever you do a reading or when you listen to a reading, the timing is fluid. It could have happened. It could be happening this week or it could be happening in the very near future. Okay, either way, the tower card says that something is has crumbled or is going to crumble down that has been affecting you negatively. It's been affecting you. It's about to crumble. You're, you're going to be very satisfied when it crumbles because it's a blessing in disguise. It's like your dreams come true out of this um, mess, all right? Your dreams finally come true, and um, now you have this new growth. You have this excitement. It's time to start something new, all right? And it's very loving, all right? It's very happy and blissful and exciting, so it looks really, really good. Um, this Ten of Swords and the Death and the Fool is telling me that you are in, you are about to start something new. You're going to have to take a leap of faith. All right? 
all right, that you're letting go of something and it is all in the name of love. Love for yourself, love for somebody else, it's all in the name of love. You're starting something fresh, all right? And that's after a time of perhaps overindulgence, you know? Or, and you know, you could have even been pretending, because you have been, you've been ignoring a situation and not moving forward. And perhaps you've been hiding it with in food, you know, addictions, and you've been overindulging. Food, alcohol, drugs, spending, whatever. You've been doing it, you know, to to hide your real true feelings, all right? Or your... Yeah, your true feelings. But the fact of the matter is, it's going to end. We have the tower, we have the death, we have fool, we have the ten of swords. Uh, it's over, all right? And it's all, um, there's a lot of manifestation here, okay? Your thoughts become things. A lot of you have been wanting this, okay? And you've been thinking about it a lot. Your thoughts become things. It's, it's going to happen, all right? If it hasn't happened yet, it's happening now. This is when the tide, the wheel spins in your favor, Good fortune is on the way. Good luck is on the way. It's a breakthrough in your favor, all in the name of love. Now, I really don't need to do the other deck at this point, but I'm going to. You've really persevered. You have a lot of life experiences, okay? And you've been, you know something was going to end. You knew it was going to end. You just, it, you know, divine timing plays a part. All right. It is a time to celebrate. This is you, Aries. There's going to be a lot of beautiful, blissful happiness. There's no doubt about it. I see that you are really in your comfort zone this week. You are. You're just very comfortable. I think that things are in your favor this week. You can celebrate your success, all right? This is celebrating your success, whether you are or somebody else is. This is celebrating your success, success. and this is too. It's a celebration, okay, where there's going to be a lot of happiness. There may be challenges. Doesn't mean it's going to be all peaches and cream. Okay, there's going to be challenges. There has been challenges. That's where you've gotten this life experience from. But the fact of the matter is that you, you've been at a stalemate. You've wanted to make a move. You wanted to do something. You have this card twice now because it's under here, right here. You've wanted to make something happen, but you just haven't. You've been ignoring the situation. But now I think you're about ready to face the challenges, okay? Because this is what this one does. She faces, or he or she, faces the challenges Okay, the lovers, this is in regard, in the name of love, all of this is in the name of love, okay, this whole thing, you're making changes because of love, you want to be loved, you want this magnetic attraction, you want the chemistry, you want the feeling of being cherished, you know, you want the excitement, you want this deep soul connection, okay? Um, so I think you're giving. Um, surrendering. Surrendering. You can't, you're not ignoring your desires. Ignoring your wishes anymore. I think you're, you're, you're moving forward in happiness, okay? You're taking the lead. You're taking the control. I think this week that something, if it hasn't happened already, it could have happened already. Something is crumbling down that you've been waiting. You've been waiting for it to crumble. When the lover's card comes out, there's a, a choice to be made in love. Okay? So there's a choice to be made. One relationship could be ending and you could be headed towards another one. It could be um, because we have an ending here and this is a relationship. Or it could be that somebody is coming in. If you're single, somebody is coming in unexpectedly. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo. 
we have Sagittarius, we have Aries, we have Scorpio, just getting you one of these, I'm just trying to see who I might have missed, sometimes I miss a sign if I do, that's okay, um, Either way, it looks like you guys are starting a new chapter. If it hasn't happened already, it's about to start, and it's going to be a successful, happy one. Very, very happy. I'm going to get you one of these cards. Choice. Interesting. Oh, my goodness. It's the truth. It really is. It's about your choice, making a choice. What do you want? Do you want to stay stuck? Do you want to stay where you're at, or do you want to move on? That came out, came, that card came out for a reason. Do you want to stay in the spot that you're in or do you want to move on? Are you ready to move on? That is the question. And the universe and God and angels and spirits and whoever your higher power is knows how you feel inside. Like I said, this is about manifestation. Your thoughts become things. So if you are thinking that you are really, really, really want to move on, and that's how you feel inside, but your voice, your mouth is saying, I'm good, the universe hears your thoughts that you're thinking 90% of the time. And that's what's manifesting. And this week, the delays may be over. You may be actually making the choice to find happiness, 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 and love. So that's what I have, Aries. 